Hey everyone, this is Adam, and today I'm going to be showing you how to automatically import PDF files directly into Figma using the Convertify plugin. So to get started, we just need to go to the resources icon at the top of your Figma file. And if you click on that and search for Convertify, so that's C-O-N-V-E-R-T-I-F-Y, and under the plugins tab, you'll see Convertify pop up. If you just go ahead and click on that, you can run the plugin by either clicking on this run button here, or I would suggest clicking on this little more options icon and adding it to your saved Figma plugins. So I've already clicked on that. So I've got it in my saved Figma plugins, which I can access by right clicking anywhere, going down to plugins, going down to saved plugins, and then clicking on the Convertify item. And that's just gonna run the plugin we just set up a second ago. So when we open up the plugin, by default, it will be set to export Figma to sketch. But if you want to change this, in this case, to import PDF files, you can just click on that drop down, go down to the import to Figma section, and then just click on the import PDF to Figma item. And that'll just change the context of the plugin to accept PDF files that you can drag and drop from your computer. So by default, uh, it's going to import these as bitmaps or JPEG images. We also have the option to import the pages as vector layers, um, but this feature is currently in beta. So I'll show you what that looks like in a moment and we can compare the two. So I've just got a few different uh, PDF files here. I've just got three that I'm going to try importing today. So the first one I'm going to import is just this really simple portfolio PDF. So I'm going to drag and drop that into the import PDF Dropbox in the Convertify plugin. So if I drag and drop that, that's basically going to import the pages from our PDF directly into Figma as images. So we can see here that if I zoom in, uh, we've got some pixelation because they're just normal images instead of vectors. Um, but this is basically the most visually accurate way to import your PDF pages into Figma. So they'll just get imported as images rather than vectors or uh, editable uh, layers. So the other alternative, as I mentioned, is we can check this toggle here to import the pages as vector layers. So if I re-import the same file, so I'm just gonna drag and drop that PDF into Figma, let go, and that's now gonna import the pages as vectors. So if we zoom in this time, we'll be able to see that the vector shapes are obviously much sharper. We don't have that same pixelation that we saw a second ago. So we can basically zoom in and all of this will be very sharp. Um, so the only downside to this is that uh, the accuracy may not be as good. As I said, it's still in beta. Um, but the other thing is if you're using text layers in your design or in the PDF file, um, these basically just get imported as vectors. So as you can see here, uh, this is a vector path of that text. So unfortunately, this isn't actually editable text. So uh, in terms of if you're in Figma and you create a text layer, you can obviously edit this text um, in a text box. But because we're importing these PDFs as vectors, basically the text layers get imported as paths. So you can edit these, you can move them around, you can change the colors, all that sort of stuff, um, but you just can't edit it. So we can obviously layer in text layers into the design. So we could overlay text layers and remove text layers and things like that. Uh, but it's just worth noting that this is not gonna be uh, native Figma text. So just something to be mindful of. So the other thing we can do is we can import designs that maybe don't have any text at all. So for example, we've got some illustrations here that are in PDF. So we can go ahead and import those into Figma just by dragging and dropping that file as well. So again, I'm gonna do the JPEG version first just to show you what that looks like. Uh, this option's always a bit quicker. And as I mentioned, always gets a bit more visual accuracy because we are just importing them as JPEG rather than vectors. Um, so, but once again, we can import these with the vector layers turned on. So I'll re-import that file, drag and drop the PDF into Figma, and that will automatically import the uh, PDF file as vector layers into your Figma canvas. Um, as I mentioned, and as you can see here, it's always gonna be a bit slower to import the vector option rather than the JPEG one. But once that finishes, we should see these in our Figma file. Um, so as you can see, as I mentioned, there's some cases where it's gonna be a bit buggy and you're not gonna be able to see some of the imported stuff. This might be just due to some clipping masks. So uh, we've got some clipping in here, which is probably gonna be uh, hiding some of that content. You can probably edit this manually to get the actual content out. Uh, so there's gonna be some content in there. So as you can see, in this case, it was just an image that was being masked. 
Uh, so you can usually get the content out, but sometimes the clipping's a bit off. Uh, but obviously this will be fixed up in future versions of Convertify as well. So as I mentioned, it's currently just in beta, uh, but you can see here that we've got vector layers. So these are looking much sharper than the uh, JPEG one that we had before. So that's another option you can use uh, if you wanted to import those into Figma. Uh, the last file I'll import is just a portfolio PDF. So again, I'm gonna do this as uh, JPEG first just to show you what that looks like. So I'm gonna drop that in. This is gonna be importing five pages. So you can see here it's imported those five pages from our PDF. So we've got a few different portfolio pages, different lengths, and that just instantly imported them into Figma. Uh, so these are again, just images. So we can show and hide those. We can move them around as images. Uh, obviously, if we change the background, you can see where those are coming in. Um, but as I mentioned, these are just images so they're not editable as far as any content goes and once again we'll try it with the vector layers turned on so i'm just going to drag and drop that pdf into figma again and this time it's going to import it with all of that content as vector instead of just a flat uh, image based import so that's just inserting the pdf pages now and we can see here again i'll just change the background so we can see what's actually being imported and if i zoom in uh, we can see here that this is all vector-based content. So we've got our uh, vector-based uh, text layers here. So you can see here, these are much sharper than before. But as I mentioned, the only downside is that you've basically got the text exported as paths. So this is not editable text as far as text layers goes. These are just vector paths. So uh, it's gonna be visually accurate. So the reason why this usually happens in PDFs is the text basically gets outlined as vectors and that's to avoid any issues with fonts that may not be included on the computer of the user viewing the pdf so it's trying to increase the visual accuracy of the document without relying on fonts so that's usually why uh, pdfs are more geared towards this kind of text content but as i said there's going to be a couple of issues with things like clipping uh, occasionally so you may have to jump in there and uh, extract some of those layers you can see here that the rectangle is basically being hidden so we can bring that out and you might have to sort of manually uh, clip that as well which you can do by changing this to fill and then you can do things like resize that uh, to clip it again so as i said there might be a little bit of manual updates uh, that will be required for some of these layers in the meantime but this is going to get you a pretty good import of pdfs in both either bitmap or vector based quality um, but yeah as i mentioned you're probably not going to be wanting to use these if you need to edit the actual text this is more so if you need to get some content from a pdf uh, directly into figma automatically that you can then use uh, for some purpose that may not require actually editing the text but more so just getting a vector copy of the design from your pdfs into figma uh, this is going to be a really quick way of going about it so I'll leave it there for today. I just wanted to show you a few examples of how you can import PDF files into Figma, either as flat images or vector-based layers, as we just saw in this example. Uh, so I hope that's helpful. If you've been wondering how to import content from PDF files into Figma uh, without going through uh, other kind of hacky workarounds, like opening it up in a different tool and copy and pasting the layers out and things like that, it can really be a little bit tricky. Uh, but yeah, I hope this has been helpful. If you've been wanting to automate this process, feel free to give Convertify a try and hopefully you can import your own PDFs into Figma in a way that's going to be helpful. So thank you as always for watching and we'll be back soon with more Figma tutorials like this one very soon.